Get your hot ads and cannabis. You are done. You are wrong. You are wrong. We will see you on Saturday. You shouldn't have that on there. And this is coming from Big Mike Simpson. I didn't plan this. So what's going on today, Sarah? Mass can had their election. It's really good. Is it a good meeting or not? <laughs> it was. There was only one outburst, so that's good. What happened? No, we're not going to go there. If you don't come to meetings, you can't know. That's it. <laughs> so fight for the cause. Okay. What, are you happy about it, <laughs> the meeting today or not? I don't know. It hasn't ended yet. All right. What, who are you happy to see here today? Half the board, maybe. <laughs> Half so, the people? Half the people. It was like half the people. Right. It's fellow pot smokers over there. It's the way it should be. Holy shit. I am very, very surprised at what I saw. Uh, I wasn't going to come, but I came because I, I, I knew that after all the many years of, of what Mike Can did, I said, I want to be here because wrong. he to you my are goddamn wrong. co host for my fucking show. No, I don't want to hear what you're saying. This is too hot as a cannabis. You but, are done. No, you are you wrong. Are done you are wrong. Show, we'll see you on Saturday. You shouldn't have that on there. And this is coming from Vic Mike Simpson. I'm telling you. Rig, 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 rig. The fucking shit was rigged. You're mad because you, I guarantee you, that likes rigging shit. You're, you're the rigger. You're mad that you didn't get elected again by your own you're words. The fucking rigger. He's the rigger. First of all, I'm smoking some blue cheese here. It's really good. KOP here, live at uh, Needham, whatever we are. But no, really, what I saw about today was really incredible. What happened was, after all your years of tenure, and you did a lot, Mikey, for all those years. I already said it in the other part of the video, but it was an amazing time to see the whole God change. Everything's changed this year. Uh, and Mike stepped away completely. Now you know Mike Can, Mass Can. Mike Can synonymous with Mike Can, Mass Can. We all know that. And the Boston Freedom Rally and everything. But Mike has decided now to step away. Not from activism. No, he's still going to be an activist, people. Thing is, Mike was tied to just one organization for 10 years and he did very good at what he did. And a lot of the stuff that he did did not really get too appreciated, but a lot of the stuff I did also doesn't get so appreciated, but we won't get into that. What I want to get into is legalization, medical marijuana, and what Mike Can did. Mike Can walked away from being part of a political organization, but not from activism. With his two headed heads for Cannabis Show, you're going to see more than what you could see before because now. He donated a lot of time and effort on Mass Can for 10 plus years. Now Mike wants to do something on his own. And he wants to get it out there more about activism and about marijuana. And the way he can do it is much better not being tied to a political organization. So don't look at it as that he, uh, he quit. You know, a lot of people think, I quit. No, I just decided to walk away from the political stuff, like Mike. But it doesn't mean that we're not activists. We are both activists. And we always will be activists. I'm never going to walk away. That's right. Right? I'm going to always be an activist. That's right. That's right. What's his name? What's my name, guys? KOP. Yeah, KOP. He's heard that they're all stoned down there, but really, we're not walking away. In fact, you may see, and this is just a little, 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 uh, no, I shouldn't talk about it, but I'm gonna. One day, Mike and I are gonna do something together, folks. It won't be marijuana related, no. Something completely different. And I can't wait for that day. And I'm gonna say this on camera. I'm dying to work with my brother, Mike Canigan, out of the legalization and marijuana business in something new. But I wish you a lot of luck, Mike, with two hot heads for cannabis. The time that you have now to donate to the show, I'm sure you are going to bring the type of radio to online that has not been seen before. And uh, I'm going to be very happy uh, watching uh, what happens. And uh, man, put one plug in for myself. Come and see the new KOPproductions.com, okay? And next it, Saturday, uh, what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about it. Right at on the. Well, what's the new news to the marijuana? That you, you are giving something to this marijuana movement right now. You've given a lot to us. This is the, I think this is the final like coup de gras. This is the biggest thing you've ever given us. I want you to tell people what's coming out. All and right. they haven't seen it yet. I have, I well, know. I have don't. to say that I put it all together and I want to first say right on video, I want to thank Mr. Andrew Hutchinson, Zandrak Productions, because without them, I would not have been able to do what I'm about to present and what I'm about and to show. The editing that was done by 
my buddy Rob Echo, and may I say Rob Echo was responsible for my interview with Bonnie Frank last year at the Maine Medical Marijuana Expo, which this year I am emceeing April 14th and 15th in uh, Augusta, Maine.